G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the Light Machine Gun. Now, we've got a few uh, requests for New Vegas weapons, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill them out just by in the next couple of days. We'll do some videos on the New Vegas weapons. So today, obviously, we've got the Light Machine Gun, and it is one hell of a weapon if you've got it set up right for the proper situation. So right now, we've got the AP loaded in, just because the Death Claw's natural hide provides them a lot of damage threshold, which we can punch through with the... Uh, a light machine gun using the armor piercing rounds which is good this thing has the uh, extended mag mod which uh, changes the ammo capacity from 90, 90 sorry to 200 which is a sizable increase and feels more like an LMG with a big old mag on it now this thing is uh, magazine fed it's just got a big old drum on it so uh, that's actually going to help in its reload which is actually really good I'm pretty sure that's just the same reload as the uh, riot shotgun, so it's lightning fast, so you can get a lot of bullets down range very, very quickly, and then you can have a fast reload to boot, so it has a uh, very high DPS potential even in between reloads. Now this thing fitted with the AP rounds does a good job, but you can obviously get a lot better damage with it if you have the, uh, the hollow point rounds, although that only works against soft targets like geckos and stuff. Alright, so there's some more death claws over there. We'll go ahead and uh, shoot them. And I really, really don't like these iron sights. For whatever reason, the uh, developers decided to put the post at the front and the uh, two prongs um, on the barrel there. So it's kind of, I don't know, it seems kind of silly to me. And uh, yeah, I, I prefer iron sights where they've got the post at the front and the two prongs at the back to line it up. Makes a little bit more sense, but maybe there's some IRL guns that look like this, but uh, I would know. I am not in the army, I'm not a really enthusiast of guns, I'm just a roof plumber who likes to play video games in his spare time. So we'll go ahead and take out Mummy Death Claw here, we've got a nice dagger on her, which probably means I um, went ahead and uh, crippled her torso there, because that's what happens when you cripple torso and pull out for New Vegas, sorry. Man, I've been playing too much for recently, haven't I? But yeah. Um, crippling the torso just makes them more susceptible to stagger, and in turn, it'll help, it'll give the player more stagger too when you do that, which is kind of good. Okay, so we're playing a dangerous game here because these death claws will be charging at us from the hills. And yep, there's death claw mother. You know what? She's weak enough that I'll probably get away with trying to shoot her like that. And now we've just got a bunch of other death claws to deal with. Um, it's a good idea to um, book it around this corner, Abigail. That's a good girl. And now we just gotta kill all these death lords, but ooh, we actually left up there. We actually crippled both of his arms before we killed him. Nice. Oh, death lords. I mean, they were nice and tough in this game and a little less scary in Fallout 3, but in Fallout 4 they kinda look like dinosaur raptors and um, have better AI. Not that much better, but sort of better, but. Okay, we are actually running through all of these AP rounds pretty fast. This thing isn't terribly high damaging, but it does make use out of the 5.56 five, rounds in it. It's the only automatic um, weapon that fires the 5.56 five, rounds in the game, which is kind of strange because you'd expect there to be some sort of basic assault rifle that'll go ahead and shoot those. Also, there's the um, power armor that I usually miss all the time. I didn't realize it was there until like a couple of weeks back, but yeah. Um, yeah, this thing is the only automatic thing that fires 556s, five, five, which is strange, but you sort of think about it, you'd think that assault carbine would fire 556s, five, five, but it fires 5mm for some reason, which does make uh, good use of that ammo, I mean, it's, oh god, okay, there's alpha male, but it is a little bit on the uh, more useless side in Fallout 4, where the only thing that fires it is the minigun, so it makes sense to give uh, some types of ammo in different uh, weapons to shoot it, but, uh, yeah, the only automatic one in the vanilla game is just this thing, which um, obviously if you've got mods on the PC, you can add the, in that assault rifle and the Chinese one from Fallout, New, uh, Fallout 3, and that actually works fine. I don't know why um, Obsidian didn't do it in the first place, but there you go. That was a light machine gun there amongst my um, weird ramblings there. And yes, it did pretty well, despite chewing through basically all of its bullets. So you know what? We'll go ahead and take on some sort of monster now and test this thing to its limits. Righto, welcome to Camp McCarran, and our uh, fans of the Legion will probably be pleased with uh, what is going to transpire here. Also, that dude pointing at me. Yeah, you're going to die very quickly. So, you know what? Let's get a little bit political here in Captain Noob. So, um, I'm not really a fan of the NCR. Um, 
basically they may oh i missed a dude who was up there well guess what you're going to die with a lot of bullets oh yes little these bullets okay i'm a good natured rascal i don't really care this is a canon ending for abigail anyway so yeah anyway back to the politics wow there really should be more dudes around here i think okay now he's dead um yes the ncr they're not the best faction in fact, neither is Legion. I think that the NCR trying to cling to its old world ways is only going to lead itself to ruin because, you know what? History has a tendency to repeat itself. War never changes, blah, blah, blah. It'll probably just happen again. Hey, isn't that that dude that gives you three card bounty? Well, I've got a bounty on your face. Also, these barrels react to the bullets. That's kind of cool. I wonder if you could get enough speed in them to actually... Oh, there's another one. Excellent. Okay, these guys have only got 30 hit points, so this is... um. Uh, cut below death claws, but uh, yeah, you get the idea. I wanted to shoot gunners, but there are no gunners in this game, so these guys are in uniform. Also, I'm a wild child. Okay, am I done? I okay, I'm detected by something. I think Bryce Anders. Oh, wait, he you're a bloody ranger, aren't ya? Now, you should be a little bit tougher than the rest. So, in that case, prepare to die. No. Oh. Did I get 196 XP from him? I don't know. But yes, clinging to the old world ways will probably lead you to ruin in the end, and the way to go is the Brotherhood of Steel at Victoria, motherfuckers. Alright, I think that's Camp McCarran cleared, and I really thought there'd be more gunners there. Pap, uh, gunners, I actually said gunners. NCR troopers there. Um, perhaps I'll get a mod that uh, puts more people here. I reckon that's probably a thing that's out there. I'll have a look, but for now, we'll take on a monster of some description. Okay, since I was left a little bit underwhelmed by the NCR troopers and want to kill some more death claws, there's the legendary death claw over there. Now, that bad boy is pretty tough, so we gotta keep our shit wide tied around here, so we'll just hide by. Oh, we're detected. Probably by a vendor tron, that's fine. Let's just get stuck into it. We'll hide behind this barrel for lots of safety. And also, my gun's got a super suppressor on it because it's not making any sound whatsoever. Alright, so we've got 17 bullets left, and uh, that should probably be enough to do him in. Yay, he's at negative 75 health. And he's doing a nice backflip there. That was a cool somersault there. For some reason, this weapon isn't making any sound. Well, it makes reload sounds. But yes, I've got a suppressor on it. It's so suppressed that you can't even hear it. Isn't that nice? Yep, so there you go. That was the uh, light machine gun there. Pretty damn good weapon. Like I said before, the only one that fires 5.56s is in an automatic variety. And it's got heaps of DPS with its um, high rate of fire and fast reload. Now, if you want to get this weapon in your game, it'll show up in that Vendatron at around level 8. You can find it on Super Mutants in at Black Mountain. I think it's the Nightkin Masters and Super Mutant Masters that will be armed with these. Some of the marked men in the uh, that DLC, what's it called? Lonesome Road DLC will carry this one too. So it's relatively easy to find and also if you want the uh, unique variant of it and I have unique in quotations because it's not the quite the same thing although that is the generally how uniques work. Boza is a definitely a good unique to get of the light machine gun variety even though it's kind of got an identity crisis of a uh, 20 boards in a mag which is not that good. So yep that's about it for this thing. I'll be back with some more Fallout New Vegas weapons tomorrow and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.